I interrupted the flow. Mwahaha. God damn it. Hey guys, what is up? Emerald Crusader here, and with me I have my friend Brayden. Say hello. My name is Uncle Ray. I don't know what you're talking about. Check your privilege. God damn it. But today... Hey, look, at that what? look at that copy here. 2011. It is no longer subject to 200 number. Yay! But today, we are playing... Uh, I'm starting my Let's Play of Ace, Ace Attorney Miles Edgeworth Investigations 2, or Prosecutor's Path. This is the unofficial fan translation, as you saw on the previous screen. Me and Brayden are going to be recording this, and for now, he okay. just... Yeah, he, it's his favorite Ace Attorney game. For now, he's just going to be watching me through a camera play this game. Favorite game in general. Shut up. It's my favorite. Yeah, so he's going to be watching me through a camera for, like, the first, uh, maybe the first two cases and most of the third case. But then after that, he's going to start playing. After that, it's blind for all of us, so. I played most of the third case until he was like, hey, shut up and stop playing that game. We need to let's play. Except I did that. I yeah. know what I'm talking about. Freaking, all right, let's start this. I don't know what's happening, but he knows about most of what's going on. So, turn about target. Turn about target. Yay. If you haven't seen the first game, go watch someone else's Let's Play of it, because it's freaking awesome. Where's, where's Turnabout Walmart? There it is. We can see it. It's the emissary... Yo, oh, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Turnabout Walmart? Oh, I get it. Are you the Walmart? Can you the hear it? The cheers of the crowd. Welcome, Zhengfa Republic. Welcome, Mr. President. Oh, Zhengfa. Oh, this makes a return. Mr. President, this way, please. Your audience awaits. We're doing so many characters. The thing is, you know who most of these characters is by the end of the face. My a dear friend, ago. okay. A few days ago, a smuggling ring that has long plagued my nation was exposed and cultured. This was possible thanks to your country's prosecutor's office. Uh-oh, gun. Who is it? From the bottom of my heart, I convey unto them my utmost gratitude. However... The battle is still not over, I declare, here and now. The hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil. And... yeah, about that. <coughs> Hurry. Hurry, contact the prosecutor's office. We need that man. Miles Edgeworth. If there's anyone who could solve this case, it's him. Dun, 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 dun. That looks epic. Just saying. <laughs> and guys, yeah. I'm sorry if you can see my mouse. I I may fix this in a later video, but I'm I think I'm gonna make it to where you won't see my mouse on the screen. No, you should keep your you, should, you should keep the mouse. It, it gives you it gives them a uh, chance to see what you're thinking. Huh? You know, the seven people who watch this. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just seven people. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Uh, March 25th, 246. Huh? Are you, so, are you so proud about your successful YouTube career? Yeah! 2,500 views! Yeah! Did it. Hey, at least someone will be, cons will be considering watching this because they have no choice unless they want to watch Z Slicer. It's much better, let's play. Yeah, Z Slicer. He said Slider. The I said Slicer! I thought you said Slider. God damn it! God damn it! Alright, let's continue. March 25th, 2.46pm, okay. Ward Lake Park, audience area. See, this is what we did the last game, and it's just gonna make this go by much slower. Word of this must have reached every corner of the world by now. Yes. Amazing voice acting by, by yours truly and by Brayden. An assassination attempt on the president of the Republic of Zhang Fa. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I am a prosecutor. I was asked to investigate this grave incident, but upon my arrival... Mr. Edgeworth! Yes, I'm doing his voice as well. You're gonna do all the main characters, I'm gonna do all yeah. the side characters. We've been waiting for you, sir. This man is Dick Gumshoe. He's a detective with the local precinct who assists me on all cases under my jurisdiction. What is the president's current condition? I'm still not sure, sir. The paramedics just entered his plane a few moments ago. I see. I hope it's nothing too serious. Very well, detective. Please show me around the crime scene. Roger that, sir. 
Sega toy. Oh, I love this music. Over here, over here we have the bullet. <laughs> hey, mister. Hey, just a second. I'm begging you. Hmm? What's this? Mister, you're, you're the prosecutor in charge around these parts, right? Can I ask you a little, uh, something real quick? I'm afraid I must refrain from... Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of that. I'm, I'm afraid I must refrain from commenting for now. Let's go, detective. Ah, fucking... Hey, wait, Mr. Prosecutor! <laughs> that's a female oh, character. I can't do female voice. Oh, that's a female? I thought that was just a... I thought that was a guy. Yeah, you're... My voice for, for kind of <laughs> tripped you up, didn't it? Like, seriously, that looked like a guy. It looks like a guy. Nah, you haven't seen her up close yet. <laughs> oh. Hold on, Mr. Edgeworth. Wait for me, sir. Now then, detective. Care to fill me in on the details? They did a really good job with translating this, by the way. It sounds just like the first game did. Yeah. Basically, you, the whole thing happened here in Gord Lake Park. If you didn't know this game's history, then you wouldn't- you'd be tricked into thinking, Oh, it's another Ace Attorney game! Yeah, but it's freaking awesome. There was a big welcoming event for the President of the Republic of Zhang Fa. The President of the Republic of Zhang Fa. The President of Zhang Fa, Di Jun Huang. Is that what you say? Yeah, Di Jun Huang. As I recall, newspapers and news programs were making quite a deal over his visit. I may have seen a. I saw a picture where I saw. I was looking at a picture. I don't know where I saw it, but this guy, this guy, was given the middle finger. It looks like he's flipping you off, yeah. <laughs> but he's using his index finger. Yeah, our first piece of evidence. Besides our prosecutorial badge. That's important. It's the most important piece of evidence in the game. You present it like every testimony. <laughs> yes, exactly. It rained if you don't know what's going, if you don't know what's going on here, then just go away because you won't understand a thing. Yeah, it rained a bit, but it stopped just before his plane landed. He came out, and all of a sudden, in the middle of his speech, bang! A gunshot. At least I think it was. You think? Truth is, I just got here as well, so I don't know all the details, sir. So you were also called here on short notice. Yup. And today was supposed to be my day off. I was supposed to be at the High Prosecutor's Office, preparing a case for trial. The Chief Prosecutor asked for you personally, sir. The Chief Prosecutor? The Chief Prosecutor was taking part in the welcoming event. Apparently, the Chief called out right after the incident occurred. Call Prosecutor Edgeworth. He's the only one who can solve this case, he said. I see. So that's what happened. After the incident, we sealed off the park right away. Which means the assassin is still in the park. An assassin in this crowd. This could get dangerous, sir. If there is another incident, these civilians could get in harm's way. This is a race against time. Let's begin the investigation. First, what is this music that's playing? That sounds freaking awesome. Uh, it's been probably a new investigation opening music. Oh, I'm already loving the music in this game. It's awesome. Because it's freaking Ace Attorney. You can't go wrong. We investigate the crime scene and gather some information. Precisely. See, they've worked together so long, he already knows what's going on. There's no mistaking it. The president was targeted with a gun. And here's the logic system! You use logic! But I wonder if it's different in this game. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. So this is something I'll have to keep in mind. But you mentioned there was a new mechanic in this. Yes, I love it. You'll see it soon. By, by the end of this part, at least. Detective Gumshoe. Where was security at the time of the gunfire? The police were only in charge of guarding the park's parameter. Or perimeter, whatever. Parameter? The president, I don't know why I thought that was parameter. The president was being protected by his own personal bodyguards. It's those guys over there. Why don't you try talking to them, sir? To talk to someone, press the A button while standing near them. Uh... Has he ever done that in a game before, where he just does that outright? He just does what? Say the controls? Yeah. I, I, I think they have it in like every game. But I don't remember him doing it in the first game, I don't know, it just sounds 
really fourth wall breaking for an Ace Attorney game. I mean, you wait, they to. break the fourth wall <laughs> all the time. What am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the last case, it was like, oh, game over. <laughs> it was the end of the game. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Freaking. Oh, wait, was that a spoiler? No, it wasn't. It's just a text. Oh, right. Uh, Freaking. I, I, this is, this is just, just the same fun. as before. All right. Uh, whenever, let's talk to these guys. Whenever, whenever we refer to the previous case, we have to use very negative negative no uh vague names for everything yeah like oh you remember that one villain guy he was sure cool <laughs> yeah he, he was he was hella cool what do yeah. you want you are the president's bodyguards correct what was the president's security detail like during the speech the president had two best men by his side the rest were stationed in the stage area we are professionals we constantly kept our eyes on the crowd, scanning for any signs of suspicious activity. I see. In other words, security was flawless during the president's speech. But yet he was shot. <laughs> Let's keep going. We should talk to other people and examine anything suspicious. Sorry, guys, if you're hearing back uh, background noises very quickly. I, I need. I for, fucking. I should have done this before the recording. You're so unprofessional in the professional world of let's play. Hey, that's what I am. Unprofessional. I, I'm all. I. I never plan things for let's play. Unlike plays. the bodyguards. Huh? Unlike the bodyguards. It links. Huh? Huh? Ha! Ha! ha. Shut up. Ha! <laughs> ha! Shut up. <laughs> you did that a lot in the last game. Just said, shut up. How dare you say that to me? <laughs> in order to collect the remaining pieces of information from the scene of the crime. Hmm? I, I see. So that's how you round up your info. So, what do you do with all that info after it's squared away? Someone in the crowd is making quite a ruckus, but I don't have time for that now. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor! Tell me how, please! She's from, apparently from Brooklyn with the southern accent. After gathering some pieces of information, you try to find the connection between them. Detective! <laughs> you don't disclose common sense to people, come on. Hey now, don't be such a stick in the mud. What is this about finding connections? You connect the two pieces of information that share a link. That's Mr. Edgeworth's specialty. It's called logic, pal. Press the L button to use logic and the X button to connect my thoughts. I should start by pressing the L button to use logic. How dare you, Edgeworth, disclosing common sense information? Let's see. Even under such tight security, the president was fired at during the speech. And the security in the speech. Apparently, it was flawless. Any suspicious people would have been noticed. So why was he shot? Connect. Someone was able to fire a gun under flawless security, and they were able to avoid being spotted by professional bodyguards. This is no easy task. There had to be a certain amount of preparation beforehand. It's very likely that the, that the president's assassination was pre premeditated. Was a premeditated crime. Yeah. Oh, with the letter P. What does that mean? Is like it was planned ahead of time, right? Yeah. And again, you paused after saying the P word. Yeah. I want to pause. I expected again. nothing less from Mr. Edgeworth. What brilliant logic, sir! That's nothing for him, Jesus. Yes. Well, when you follow the facts and find a connection, you'll begin to see the truth. However, if the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray further from the truth. But if I think carefully before piecing the leads together, the logic should follow. Begin investigation. Okay, let's start by examining everything we can. To examine, I approach anything that looks suspicious and press the A button. And if I want to consult with Gumshoe, I press the Y button. And he's your partner, he follows you around. Yeah, uh... Exa yeah, examine the ribbon or whatever it is. This is... Yeah, I was surprised too. No matter how you look at it, it's definitely the steel. The steel samurai. I almost thought it was Gumshoe for some goddamn. The steel samurai. Yay! 
the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo, a hero from a popular TV program. Gumshoe is the Steel Samurai. Yeah. Popular with both children and adults, it has broad appeal. He got fired from detective work, so he just needs just children's shows now. Why would they? Why would they use a Steel Samurai balloon at the welcoming event, sir? That's Perhaps why he's not in no Destiny. Perhaps he was chosen as the hero to represent our country. I won't trust until I've sus inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Yes, they still kept that. Yay. Uh. Suspicious looking nook and cranny. Yeah, me. Sounds like a rap. Poor Steel Samurai Balloon. It looks so miserable. Indeed. Browning, save me, Jesus Christ! What did it do to deserve such a fate? According to the witnesses, a gunshot was heard when the balloon popped. Oh, gosh dang it. No. Job. Did a bullet from the gun hit the steel samurai balloon? Uh, yeah. Maybe it was an assassination attempt on the steel samurai. Oh, to desecrate the steel samurai like this. This is a serious crime. I am a fanboy. Freaking, now you can guess how much Edgeworth loves the steel samurai. This, this is the ultimate fanboy. Detective, we must not let this reprehensible assassin get away with this. Of course, sir. <laughs> yeah. Jot it down in my organizer. Yeah. Examine. <laughs> These flowers were delivered from a foreign country. I don't even know their names. Yeah. My favorite flowers are roses and carnations. Because when I see roses, I think of weddings. And when I see carnations, I think of birthday parties. <laughs> You're probably just thinking about all of the cake you're allowed to eat. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Because he's broke! He's a glutton for trouble and for food. Please don't be so blunt about it, sir. I Anything beg Edward to do that. that that's, no. one of, that's one of my very few issues in the investigation series. Gumshoe and Edgeworth have the most harsh relationship. Like, Edgeworth constantly rags on him as if he's worth absolutely zero. And I hate it. Exactly. That, I mean, there's one thing, very, at least there's one problem. thing they have in common. The want to protect the Steel Samurai. Uh, okay then. <laughs> That's what they were doing right now. They said they wanted to, to defeat whoever was gonna... Uh, 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 let's continue. It's the flag of the Republic of Zheng Fa. Its symbol appears to be a phoenix motif. Hmm, this is... What is it, sir? Haven't you noticed? There's an unusual spot on this flag. Oh, I just noticed that. It's the phoenix. Phoenix Compared to the light. flag on the opposite side of the stage. Hmm, there isn't a speck of dirt on it. This flag is spotless, sir. Yes, that is what the flag is supposed to look like. However, there is one spot in this flag that is out of place. Where is it, sir? Please explain it so I can understand. A five-year-old. What a helpless man. I suppose I should point it out to him. You see? Freaking Ed Edgeworth. Why you gotta be so rude to him? Why? <laughs> Alright. You're very passionate about that. Yes. Because freaking uh, Gumshoe. Just dick. That's just- that's his name. <laughs> Mr. Dick! The fu- <laughs> That's what Pearly calls him. What, really? Yeah. I forget. Really I forgot Dick? that. She called him Mr. Dick. Alright then. Uh, move the cursor to the unusual spot on the flag and press the X button to present it. Yes. Take that. Take that. I don't see how he couldn't have spotted that. I mean, I didn't spot it, but freaking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a gumshoe? No. I'm much smarter. Edgeworth? I'm much I'm smarter sure than him. Jesus Christ! Everyone wants to rag on him today. Edgeworth is to Gumshoe what I am to you. Oh, yeah, that's true. You're much more observant when it comes to these things than I am. Although there is, I'll admit, there is one part of this case that I think is absolute bullshit because you can barely see it. You don't expect it to do anything to the case. You're, you're going to see it soon. I'm going to point it out because it's stupid. No, how about you let me try and figure it out, see what it is. Oh, <laughs> good luck. All right then, thanks. Uh, wait, what? There's an unusual hole in this flag. Ah, you're right. 
Judging from the burn marks around the hole. I don't even see any burn marks. Freaking jeez, Edgeworth. It appears to be a bullet hole. A burn marks. A bullet hole? Then the bullet from the gun must have gone through the flag. Hmm. I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now, to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Logic. Yay, ruptured balloon. Let's see, what are these? I, as president, okay, this and this. Connect the logic. I noticed that the animation for that is different. It actually goes slower, and then yeah. it does the explosion. <laughs> than the first game. Yeah. As a result of the gunshots, there is a bullet hole in a flag and a ruptured balloon. That must mean two shots were fired, sir. If we include the shot that hit the president, it's possible that three shots were fired in total. No, it's also possible that the flag and the balloon were punctured by the same bullet. If only we could be certain about the number of gunshots. That was a really complete. quick investigation. And if you happen to actually get something wrong, once it says investigation complete, your little green health bar will fill up. <laughs> but you can't really do that in the first investigation. That's that's that you, if you're you're a fucking idiot if you do. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> uh, 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 you're the one that said that, not me. So e everyone hate on him if yes. you uh, if you don't agree. I'm sure. Just hate me. <laughs> hate me. I, I don't own the channel. <laughs> I can disappear from this channel. No, don't don't leave me. Now then, let's continue the investigation. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor! If you find anything new, could you please let me know? I've been wondering for a while now, but who exactly is that woman? Oh, so it is a woman. I thought she was just a nosy onlooker, but it looks like she's investigating too. Hey, please, I'm begging you! Hey, I'm not even gonna bother trying to do a high pitched voice. In order to figure out how many shots were fired, We'll need to talk to a witness. It can't be helped. Let's try talking to her. Of course I'm a fucking liar. Ah, Mr. Prosecutor! <laughs> Name's Nicole Swift. Nicole Swift. Is there a pun in that? Well, she's pretty fast and, and erratic in her movements. And and why does she have a bear trap on her backpack? Because it's, it's important for reporting. What? It's important. Also, I like the music that's playing. It's upbeat. I like it. Part of one of her animations, which is why it's there. <laughs> the only reason. <laughs> Just between you and me, this case is gonna be my exclusive scoop. Exclusive? Miss Swift, is it? Could you tell me what you witnessed during... <laughs> so, how's your investigation coming on? Oh, and she has the tape there, too. Dot, 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 dot. Y'all got a suspect yet? Where'd you get that frilly doohickey thing around your neck? Hold it! Could you please stop talking for a moment? I will be the one asking the questions. What is this, an interrogation? I reckon I was gonna get myself an interview. I'd like to know how many gunshots were fired. Can you please tell me what you saw? Well, I guess... I ain't telling you nothing. What? My life depends on info. I give it up that easily. Don't be selfish, pal. Won't you please cooperate with us? Selfish? If you ain't gonna share your info with me, then I'ma go get it from elsewhere. Wait a minute, pal. My way, are you gonna give me what I want? If not, adios, amigos. Man, she's she's starting to be kind of annoying. Yeah, she, she makes up for it. Character development. Oh, she won't budge. We're at a stalemate here. And she introduces the best a mechanic. A stalemate? I wonder about that. Oh, here's where it comes in. I wonder what it's gonna be. What do you mean, sir? As you know, chess is one of my hobbies. How does one go on the offensive against a defensive opponent? There are many tactics available on the chessboard. I used to play chess, so I think I can kind of do with I don't know. It has really? nothing to do with actual chess, but it's so cool. Yeah, really? I don't know much about chess. I prefer checkers. Even if, even if, 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 if
fuck? I can't talk! I can't speak! Even if it appears to be a flawless defense, there is always an opening. Observe, and I break down her defense with my words. There was a flawless defense. That'd be terrible. <laughs> the worst design. In order to get her to talk, I'll need to use her. I'll need to use the right strategy. Using the image of a chess game, I need to stay one step ahead of my opponent. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna say that every time he does that animation. Mind, mind, mind. Now then, let's analyze the situation. So you give me some info? My trap shield shit. Oh, that's cool. She has her guard up, so this is her defensive strategy. 3D! It's the Nintendo DS! If I waste too much time, she may grow impatient. I need to pay attention to the time limit. Oh, there's a time limit! Jesus! Uh... Yeah, so, and it, it decreases whenever you screw up. I must not be careless with my words. Does it decrease if you just wait, in general? Yeah, it's, it's a time limit. God damn, okay. When my opponent becomes agitated or aggressive... I told you I ain't talking! You're stubborn as a mule! For example, during times like this, I should calmly wait and see how things play out. The moment my opponent shows an opening, I'll be able to strike. First, I should ask about her identity. Now, let us begin. This seems kind of confusing. Logic chess! Begin. Your occupation. First, could you tell me your occupation? No way! If I told you, then I might get the wrong idea. The wrong idea? In other words, it's a job that you cannot tell others about. I, I never said that! I ain't some kind of suspicious person! I'm just your run-of-the-mill mile citizen. Please excuse my rudeness. I did not mean to offend you. Ah, see? So, if she's starting to get agitated, I wait to see what happens. Yeah, th this game successfully teaches you how to argue. If you if you get angry, then you're gonna lose. You're gonna seem like an idiot. Just gotta calm down. Don't don't yell at anyone. I may not know the details of your job, but I'm sure that is a reputable one. Yeah. Well, y you might be giving me too much credit there. I ain't even done my shade your mark your articles yet. <laughs> an article writing job. I heard you mention articles just now. Does your job involve writing articles by any chance? Oh, and she has two pieces. And oh, this Dang is like it. this is like the Cyclops in the other game. Yeah, this is Edward Cyclops. Oh, this is so freaking awesome! <laughs> All right. Need any Magatama? <laughs> That's right. I'm an investigative reporter. But wait, how does he know how many pieces they have? Because you can see it in their face. You know when they're about to crack. A bona fide up and coming news journalist. I see. A reporter. She may already have some information about the case. This will be my next Logic. line of questioning. Oh, and it, it, re it replenished itself. Right. This is where the real battle begins. I'll need to draw out even more information from her. Did you witness the incident? Yes. Yeah. Were you present at the time the incident occurred? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, how about some of that info you promised me? No, ladies first. I insist. I told you, my trap shut. You ain't getting my info that easily. Talk or I'll arrest you. That's just mean. I did that as a joke first. Really? But it turns out in logic chess. Yeah, it turns out. It, but it turns out in logic chess, whenever you mess up, it just has the same dialogue as any other time you mess up. It's kind of oh. boring. <laughs> My livelihood here. Please, I I'm begging you. If you stick your head in too deep, you may be putting yourself in danger. I'm a pro after all. A few gunshots don't scare me. <laughs> I'll admit, you're dedicated to your job. However, you still have much to learn. The fact that you heard the gunshots clearly means that you were present present it's going so slow that i can't read it fast it's i can't read it right we're present during the incident you must have seen something oh it's not broken yet oh see it again i just happened to be here covering the speech and that's when it all went south 
See, okay, it, whenever it spins, that means you've damaged it. But it, the only time you, you know you messed up is whenever it just hits the piece and doesn't move at all. Oh. That's all, I swear. I ain't saying another word. So she was here to write an article about the speech. She should still have the material she gathered for her article. Hmm. This could be a useful clue. Did you... Content of your coverage. You said that you are a reporter. Did you come here to gather news material? If you want to know that bad, give me some info first. No, you first. Show me what you've gathered. Honest to Betsy, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me try using that clue. What? It's a knight. Oh. That's who you got. I know it's red text and you got it earlier in the logic chest. Are you telling me that you came here to gather material and you left empty-handed? You should still have the materials you collected with you. <laughs> That's... Darn tootin! I'm a pro! I collected with my own two feet! That's why I ain't giving up it all up without a fight! As the prosecutor in charge of this case, I'm making a serious plea for your cooperation. Don't you mess with me! I ain't handed it over and that's final! I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Love that. Please understand where I'm coming from, Mr. Prosecutor. Being a reporter is a tough job, isn't it? Ah, so you're finally getting it. How has your job performance been? Um, well, I'm always trying to be the best reporter I can be. It's your tape recorder. I always carry it by my side. This is your first mistake. Come on, man! If you're gonna clam up, I'm out of here! It seems I should've been more, a bit more decisive there. Oh. When the opponent is agitated, I must calmly wait and see. But when they let their guard down, I mustn't hesitate to strike. Oh, okay. Content. So I can just do this really quickly when I mess up. Yeah, your punishment for messing up is just, you lose a little bit, and then you get a little more chunks off, and whenever you, whenever you have to go back. I'll wait and see. Let me listen to the tape. I thought that was a little more, just too forward, so I, I see. If you're trying to be the best reporter that you can be, then it would be unnatural for you to not have collected any news materials. You recorded it on your tape recorder, didn't you? The information regarding this case... Ugh! Doggone it! There goes my exclusive scoop! Wait, did her her bear trap just kind of <laughs> closed, right? It, it, it went off and, and she jumped into the air. I love that animation. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I have it on my tape recorder. All the information I recorded from my article is right here. Hmm. Checkmate. That is an awesome mechanic. Logic I chest love complete. Logic. Yay. Because you don't. If for once you're not relying on the evidence to to do all your work. Just pure logic. Yeah, just your words. Yeah. I love it. Th that's amazing, Mr. Prosecutor. Before I knew it, you done you chattering like a chipmunk. Let me hear what you have on the tape recorder. If I listen to the tape, I should be able to determine the exact number of gunshots. Fine, but I won't let you have it for free. Other than my mentor, you're the only person to push me this far. In other words, you're gonna have to be my second mentor. Yep, that's how it's gonna be. I see. Kind of like a second home, sir. <laughs> Not at all. And I got one more crest. A 24 hour exclusive interview. God damn. Hours. Jesus. Please, Mr. Prosecutor, this is my first and final express as your presence. I, I've clammed up there. This is difficult to accept, but unless I agree to it, I won't be able to listen to the tape. 24 hours is out of the question. 
but I will grant you an interview after we solve this case. What about being my second manner? Also out of the question. Aww, don't be so ornery. Aw, she looks sad. Well, I guess you take what you get. It's all for the second manu scoop. I'm gonna get the ball rolling. Let's begin our exclusive coverage. Well then, Miss Swift, please begin the playback of the tape recorder for me. Click. I don't know. Should we do the, uh... Those? No. No? Okay. It's the only time I'm doing huh. it. My dear friends, there is a reason for my visit. A few days ago, a smuggling ring that has long plagued my nation was exposed and crushed. I see. This was the president's speech. The president passionately addresses the crowd. He's deflating the rumors flying around about the recent decline of his approval ratings. This is my own commentary. Try to create the feeling of actually being there. According to the schedule, there's a meeting after this. Oh, wait, no, that's that's not that's not Nicole. Derp derp. According to the schedule, there's a meeting after this. You seem quite pleased that the Adagarasu incident has been resolved. Well, of course. It's a great honor for us as well. Whose voice is this? Also from the folks standing in front of me. I reckon it was too well of a man. They kept on whispering to each other, and it's kind of weird. Where have I heard this voice before? Oh, the gunshot's coming up. <laughs> get excited. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> or at least get hurt. I don't know. The president raised fist in the air. The atmosphere is pouring into a fever pitch. However, the battle is still not over. I declare here and now. The hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil. Bang, bang. What, what in tarnation? Whoa, 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 whoa. Click. And so there were two gunshots, which means it was one at him. Uh, just This is just speculation. One at him and one at both the flag and the blimp or the balloon or whatever. Not a blimp, the fuck? No, a balloon. Dude, I'm running. Two shots were fired. I balloon every every day. A balloon are, are every day, are all day. Every and day. what do you reckon? It's quite simple, really. Using the bullet's trajectory, we can deduce its flight path. Two shots were fired. One bullet hit the president. That means the other shot left a hole in the flag and punctured the balloon. Do you understand now? The location of the perpetrator who fired the gun. The bullet that struck both the flag and the balloon was fired from here. So, I'm guessing... If they shot from here, then... Uh, here. What? Oh, yeah. okay. I almost thought it, was, it didn't go away for a second there. By connecting the bullet marks from the flag and the balloon, we learn the bullet's trajectory. Yay, math! Uh, it's not even complicated. I know it's not complicated. Friggin', this is super easy. I totally didn't have a hard time with it. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. What? Who? What? What? It's not, it's not even math, really. It's just lining things up. Yeah. It's likely that the bullet was fired from the left side of the audience area. Yay! Just what I expect from Mr. Edgeworth. Detective Gum. I would like to investigate the left side of the audience area. A big pause there. Yes, sir. Wait, you mean we have to move all these people? Yes, there's no time. We could be losing vital evidence for every second we let slip by. We must hurry. Y yes, sir. Mitch number two! Hey, Mitch number two! Miss Swift, I assume you are addressing me? Of course, Mitch number two. It's my time to shine. I'm an expert at crowd dispersal. Light the torches, release the hands, and run them down! I appreciate your help, but please do not use those methods. Also, please stop addressing me as your mentor. I never agreed to that position. 
I hear you. And I'll try to, get, try to keep that in mind, Mentor. I mean, Mr. Prosecutor. <sighs> hey, so since, since this is the first case, just... are there um are there points where it's where it'll have to be continued, or no? Yeah. Do you want to stop the episode there when it gets the to be continued? Yeah, to be continued. All right. Mr. Edgeworth, we're ready to begin the investigation, sir. Miss Swift here was all over the crowd helping us round him up, sir. Okay, that's not for a second. I don't know. <laughs> it's ain't nothing compared to my first man's mob wearing like seals. She seems to be used to this sort of thing. However, Miss Swift, all that running around seems to have caused your clothes to be covered with mud. I'll take care of the cleaning bill if you like. Eh? Uh, you, you talking about my parka? Don't you worry your fancy little head about it. Yeah, it's reversible, so I can just flip around later and it's good and new. You'll be wearing mud. That but, won't do much okay. for mud stains, though. <laughs> well, Mr. Edgeworth, let's restart the investigation, sir. The crowd has made a mess of the crime scene. I hope some traces of the criminal are still left behind. Begin investigation. Wait, Ford Lake. Saying, Wait, isn't this the lake from the first game? Yeah. Turn about goodbyes. Oh my god, is this this is oh my god, he's here. He's here. Hi, <laughs> the best prosecutor. Except for, of course, the best. <gasps> this is a terrible chance today indeed, Mr. Edgeworth. Who is this man again? I, Winston Payne, am willing to assist his prosecutor. He's a prosecutor. Why did you come here today? He 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 he. I accompanied the chief prosecutor. Hmm? His voice sounds like the one that I heard on the tap on the tape earlier. Uh, he wiretapped. Was he one of the men standing in front of Miss Swift? And where's the chief now? The chief is a busy man. He has special permission to leave the premises. The chief called me here and then left by himself. I'm not completely satisfied with this. <laughs> Fucking that guy, he just bitches me. Are you with the television crew? Are you with the television crew? You are not? <laughs> Every time in the game he says R, just change it with you, and every time he says you, change it with R. Okay. Oh, uh, that's right, but... Then R must have recorded the speech. I'd like to see the footage. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, that's stupid, because that was a joke. <laughs> I just wanted to see how it would turn out, but it sounds really stupid. It's like, it's like Edward just had a brain fart there. It was, it was just like... You oh, are see. must. Yeah. Y yeah, I'm about that. Uh, that will be difficult. What was that, pal? It's your duty as a citizen to cooperate with the investigation. After the incident, the guests knock over TV camera into panic. All footage was lost. If there was any footage left, it could have been vital evidence. Oh. Yeah, it's too bad, sir. How does it lose footage from just being knocked over? Uh, probably the hard drive was hit. Maybe. Who D? This is an important character. So I do it? Can, can you guess who it is? Can... Should I start with a K? Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> What was that? Looks like you're in a jam, Mr. Edgeworth. That voice. Okay. Ha, <laughs> see what we did there? Freaking. Yeah, wait, she had to go all that way around. <laughs> Long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. The hero of justice. Kay Faraday is here to save the day. Save the fair. Save hero. the Faraday. I guess she wouldn't refer to herself as a heroine. So, have you given up on this great thief business yet? Nope, I haven't stopped. I'm just on vacation. I'm still in training to become the second Yadagarasu. About two weeks ago, this girl became involved in one of my cases. This is only two weeks after the first game? Yep. Alright then. 
the mysterious phantom thief. It's the shortest. <laughs> It's the shortest delay between games, because I think Justice for All takes place like a year after the first game, and Trials and Tribulations is another year, but this game is just two weeks. That's it. Yeah. The mysterious phantom thief, the Yatagarasu. The case of a gentleman thief who steals the truth for the sake of justice. So you really need to play the first game before this. Yes. <laughs> you have no idea what's going on if they explain it. This girl is the the s s s s s s Successor, I, I couldn't read that right. This girl is the successor to that great thief. If you need to pick a lock or untie a rope, leave it to me. But since I'm still in training, I haven't actually stolen anything yet. Okay, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I wanted to join in the festivities. She does seem to have fondness for these kind of events. Afterwards, I thought I'd come meet up with you guys. Well, we're glad to see you. You look like you've been doing well, pal. It's been a while, Gummy. I'm glad you're well, too. Okay, you said earlier that you could help me out. Hehehe, <laughs> please don't be surprised, Mr. Edgeworth. I took a photo that captures the exact moment of the crime. I see. Could you show it to us at once? The same as usual, I see. Can't you act even a little surprised? I can... The others? Remember I, I mentioned I had like two problems with this case? One was the bullshit part that'll come up later, and the other one is Kay's introduction. It seems a little haphazardly. Like, they just threw Kay in to make sure she's in the first case. Get it? Mm, yeah, that's okay then. Yeah, she just shows up out of nowhere on top of the van. I feel like it'd be better if they like had, they had like Ezra call Kay or something. Yeah, uh, least, or if she came uh, in maybe, later maybe at a crucial wait. moment. I feel like we should have waited until Case 2, because that's when they introduced all the main characters for the game. Except for Kay. Yeah, <laughs> she's the odd one out. Yeah, that prosecutor is always in a sour mood. Is it me, or did they change her hair? No, it's the same. Same sprite. What? I don't remember her hair being like that. Like the hair in the back. It's the same sprite. That's weird. I mean, she's two weeks older now, so her hair grew out seven feet. <laughs> Even got annoyed when I called my second mentor. Oh, by the way, I'm Nicole Swift, up and coming investigative reporter. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth's really... Enough idle chatter. Can you please just show us the photo? Fine. Here. This is a photo I took right at the moment of the gunshot. It was awful. Everyone in the audience was running in panic. This photo depicts the president and his two bodyguards. Hmm? What is this? Thank you, Kay. This will be a very important clue. This is some new music. Oh, you got that sharp look in your eyes. Did you find something, Mr. Prosecutor? In this photo, there's a contradiction. Hello? Yeah, it's, I, 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 okay, this moment, it's, I know, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, okay, the first half of this case is a lot worse than the second half, so if, so if you, you watch it at home, don't like it so far, it, it'll get better once, once we get to the second half of the case. But I think there's just a lot of convoluted stuff in the first part of this case. But the rest of the game makes up for that, definitely. Okay, so this part, the, the contradiction they're talking about is on his forehead. I thought you said you were going to let me fin find it out. You're not going to find it out. This isn't the bullshit part I was talking about. That bullshit part comes later. Oh. But you... S so but, this isn't the one you were talking about. Yeah, this one isn't isn't that isn't all that convoluted, but it's just hard to notice because it seems so obvious. <laughs> this photo, I, I don't see nothing. If you don't understand, then I'll show you. The scene captured in the photo and the evidence I have on hand. By comparing the two, I'll find the contradiction. It's time for my deductive skills to come into play. Let us deduce this. <laughs> First, I have to find the spot that holds the contradiction. Once I've found the contradiction, I press the X button with conviction. <laughs> X button. Then, I present the evidence that contradicts the spot. You don't really have much else other than... 
you, you, you know, <laughs> there's, there's one piece of evidence that there's only one you have that could really connect. Why well, don't we just look through all my evidence? Just to see. Is this a picture from the actual thing? No. No, he, he looks freaking muscular as fuck. Alright, uh, Steel Samurai Balloon. Burn the right side of the stage. It has ruptured. This contains a recording of the speech. Two gunshots can be heard. Touch the check. Full trajectory. Um... I don't get it, what? Okay, so you look at- you look at his forehead, you see a red little spot, then you look at the newspaper, you don't got that red little spot. I don't- I don't- I don't get why they had to put this in here. Why couldn't- I feel like they should put the doo-doo tutorial, tutorials at some later point. What? That makes no sense! Of course he doesn't have a red spot, because that could be a gunshot! No, he wasn't shot in the head. He'd be falling over and dead at that point. Oh, and they said that they that he, they said that he wasn't dead, right? Yeah, he, he's alive. They just don't know the state he's in. A, a gunshot to the head would definitely cause him to die. Yeah, unless it was so precise that it missed a couple of vital points and just made him in a coma or something. I don't know. Eureka! Yeah, no. Miss Swift. This newspaper contained a photograph of the president. I'd like you to compare it with the photo Kay took at the scene. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. You're, you're bullshit. That's right. This is bullshit. There's something on the president's forehead that wasn't there before. This is very bullshit. Is that a mole? Mm -hmm. It certainly looks like a red mole. In the photo of the incident, a red dot can be seen on the president's forehead. That's foolish. It's hard to believe that a mole would pop out of thin air like that. Maybe a bug bit him, sir. That all? I thought you were onto something. Turns out it's just an itty bitty bug bite. You were talking with such a serious look on your face. I was getting all excited. Hmm. The way to the truth. Always begins with a small contradiction or small contradictions. It's true. Ooh, that's a great way of putting it. I'll be using that for my article. Kay's camera data. Yeah. Huh. So let's test our logic, see what we have. Assassination attempt. The president was targeted during his speech. This was like a premeditated crime. Fun of the incident. So I don't think those two go together. <laughs> Both of those images are of him being either super serious or shocked as all hell. <laughs> Y'all need to go through the garbage? You prosecutors got a tough job. Detective Gumshoe. Ha! You thought he was gonna go through it? Nah. Right away, sir. Nah. So it's the Texas job to go through the trash. Dun, dun. Prosecutors don't want to dirty their hands. Dun, dun. I like this music. This is the same one, but it's awesome. I love this theme. Hmm? Let's see. Hope I find something good. The detective seems to be a little too eager about searching through the trash. Uh, sometimes Pizza, it's like... oh boy. Huh? Pizza, oh boy. Ha! <laughs> this is a winning popsicle stick. Detective. S sorry, sir. Let's see. Something related to the case. Hmm? Look what I found, sir. Yes, good work. Let's have a closer look. It's a purse! I'll need to view this object from various angles to uncover the truth hidden within. Yes, sir. Just give me the word and I'll spin the evidence around and around. Hold the R button and use the D-pad to rotate the, ob the object to a desired viewing angle. So does that mean whenever we investigated items in the first in the first game, when we had it in this 3D view, he, he would just get the item and turn it around for us when we looked at it? Well, I mean, what if what what about the parts where Detective Gumshoe wasn't there? That means his ghost went there and turned it around for us. 
like like in, in the last in the last case where it was insert important evidence here. Uh, oh yeah. It was through the whole case. That that certain evidence. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, good times. Yeah. Freaking. Okay, hold the R button and there's a D-pad to rotate the object. If you want to zoom in or zoom out, I'll move the evidence for you, sir. Press the you X only button. know two of the characters in the background. Well, yeah, I know the middle one and the one next to him. I don't know the others, though. Actually, I know the one on the left. Because I've seen oh. the picture. I don't think you have. Oh. That's not all. What? Huh? That's definitely not Uncle Ray, if that's what you're thinking. Well, I know the person on the right. <laughs> He's too pissed. Yeah. Move the cursor to a spot of interest and press the A button to investigate it. Also, I was thinking, if this ends up being too long, I can just, um... I can just... Splicing. I can just like, split it and make it into, like, two or even three episodes. Yeah. Alright, let's give it a try. The game, you're not gonna stop at just any random point. You're gonna stop when that to be continued. 